What is up guys, it's your boy Yashua Morrison, and I'm a cinematographer, but in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Magic Mask in DaVinci Resolve 8. Hey, Yash, I got a question for you. I was right in the middle of something, Yash, but what I can help you with, my boy? How you get the text behind you like that, my boy? I was just getting to that before you interrupted me. But besides, how can you even see that? It's an editing technique. The less you know, the better off you'll be, my friend. Whatever that means. Look, if you want to learn how to use Magic Mask and DaVinci Resolve 18, stay up in here and learn something, my boy. Okay, but In this video, I'll be walking you through the steps to using Magic Mask to create a cool text effect and to clone yourself. Before we start, check the download link below. There you will find all the clips that I'm using to edit in this tutorial, and you too can use it and practice alongside this video. But if you're ready, let's get into it. So first, we're going to start off with this cool text effect. I feel like this is the easiest of the three. Pretty simple to get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a good spot in the clip. Hold up. Let me go on aspect real quick. For some reason, I always got to move the clips back so I can be in full range with some of them in vertical. I don't know if I have that problem with DaVinci, but I always got to zoom out my clips. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to the color page. We're going to jump to the color page. Let's get this stuff out of here, clean stuff up, because we don't need none of this stuff right now. So now we got this one node here, right? What you're going to want to do is, is create an alpha output node, right? What we're going to do is just double click here, and then we're going to go to add alpha output node. We're going to click on that, and then if you see, it appears this little blue output, just like it do with the nodes, the regular output. We got this blue alpha output, and what you're going to do is connect this from the clip to the alpha output. So now this basically means whatever we do with the magic mask, whatever we do with the magic mask, this is going to go right to the timeline. If you don't put this on there, you use magic mask, it just feels like it's not working. So make sure you connect this alpha output node first. Then we're going to jump over to Magic Mask. There's this icon right here, like a double windows with a person inside of it. We're going to use this icon right here. Click on the Magic Mask. At first, it might look complicated. There's a lot of things going on here. So, you're going to use this plus, I drop a plus tool, right? And you're going to just draw over whatever you want to mask. So, I'm going to just draw around me. Bada boom, bada bing. Hopefully this is clean. So now it looks like I ain't select nothing at all. But you gotta click down here to this icon right here and to show you exactly what you highlighted out of your picture. I think since we, we created the alpha output early, it already cut it out, but it's literally just for one frame. Then you can't see how perfect it is either because it's some, it's some spots that's still in there. So I like to keep the background with it. And then we're gonna just zoom in a little bit Switch it from the, the eyedropper plus to the eyedropper minus. And then we're going to just draw out any parts that we don't want in there. And just like a little bit of spots right there that was just kind of bugging me. And then we're going to press the Z tool to go back uh, the full screen. Then, once you got your selection, everything is all carved out and nice. You don't got nothing extra that you don't want. We're going to go ahead to this button right here. This lets you track it forward and back. Make sure you always track your, your mask forward and back. And if you don't, you might have a frame where your, your mask not even there. And then it skips and there's a lot of weird stuff. So make sure you hit this track. We're going to track this forward and back. And even though it may take a little time, I'm going to just fast forward this part because this go a little crazy. All right, so the mask is basically done. The tracking is almost done, I should say. We got a few more seconds. But we back. And what I did was I took in the liberty of duplicating the clip because you need two clips. So this is the one that don't got the mask. This is the one that got the mask. So we had some little difficulties. But if you see, I uh, flip it around one more time. But as you can see, if I hide this one, this one got no background. This top clip got no background. So we kept this one so we can keep the background. That's important, especially if you want to put the text behind somebody. We want to keep what's already there. So I duplicated it, threw this clip on top, 
this top clip right here is the one that actually has the mask. This one doesn't. So this one got the mask. This one doesn't. Now we're going to add in our text. Drop that in right here. We're going to stretch it out so it matches the length of the clips. And now, if you can see, before we even do anything, you notice that the text is already behind me. So now you're just free to move the text however you please. We can go to settings, jump this up a little bit. We want to be right here behind me. We can move it over left and right. And no matter what, the text is always going to stay behind me. And one thing I forgot to mention, add a little bit of denoise and some and some and, and and to blur the radius. You definitely want to blur your radius. And then boom, if we play that back, we can take this one off, take that selected clip off. And now as you can see, we've got a clean mask. The task is right behind us. So let's move on to our second clip. Now let's jump into the cloning effect. And this one right here is something that I just recently learned to do with this feature. And it's pretty dope. So let's get into it. And I just split it up into where I was sitting here to where I was over here about to pop up. But you want to make sure you got this track of me sitting here as your first top track. Below that, you're going to have the track of me on this side. And then below that track, we're going to have the blank slate track. So, boom, right? First, we're going to jump in and do this one. This is going to be the first one we're going to mask. Same thing again. Create an alpha output. Connect. Oh. Connect. We already got magic mask open. We already got it. Get it on the plus. And now with this one, we're going to use this to trace me. And get some of this background, right? We're going to cut off some of this background. And make sure we keep it and keep this whole thing with us. So now you can already see what's going on here. Uh, let's see what we got selected though. See, now we got too much selected over here. I knew it was looking a little funky while it was popping up. So then we're going to use this minus tool. And we're just going to cross out all this stuff over here. We don't want none of this stuff. Make a little dot right here. Cross this out. We don't want that either. And try to get a little bit of this out too. And then that should be a good spot because then that gives this me a frame over here and I got a shadow and that's going to appear on this wall right here. So by, by crop, cropping, not cropping, masking this out right here makes it perfect. So now we're going to track it forward and back and I'll highlight you when it's done. And then cool. Then we're going to play it back to make sure our mask is correct. Just run it back from the top. We got this now. It's a little choppy. I don't know why it's being a little choppy. There you have it. How to use Magic Mask in Division Resolve 18 to do a cool text effect and how to clone yourself. Thank you for watching. And if you learned something valuable today, I want you to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. And I'll see you in the next one.